Hi, this time we will see a small new feature of the last release of MeshLab that can be quite useful in a number of cases. And this uh, new feature gives you the possibility when you make a snapshot to directly create a raster layer with the snapshot so, so that you don't only save the image on the disk but you can also save the um, shot uh, information uh, of the of the that particular snapshot so that you can use it in a, in a second time so if I start from this m model I find a nice point of view like this one okay and then if I want to make a snapshot of this point of view you see that uh, uh, differently from the other tutorial which was the basic one about the saving the snapshot there is a new option here which is called add snapshot to as a new raster layer if I select this I can also create an image which is twice the resolution four times the resolution of the, of the current screen if I save the image the image is generated and saved uh, uh, on the disk but at the same time I have a new raster layer that has been generated so if I switch to the visualization of the raster I see the snapshot that I generated which is perfectly aligned to the model okay. so together with the snapshot I created also a new raster um, there are several ways uh, um, with which you can uh, take advantage of this new, new feature I would just uh, talk briefly about uh, three possibilities uh, the first possibility for example is to create uh, a snapshot from a particular point of view with a particular shader for example like the radiant scaling so I find my, my point of view like this one if uh, when you generate the snapshot if you save also the, the, the position uh, of the camera then for example you can generate in a very easy way uh, the same uh, uh, another uh, visualization of the model like for example changing the shader and moving to an x-ray for example and even if you move the object at any time you can switch back to the original position of the model and then you can generate the snapshot from the very same point of view so for example you can uh, decide in advance four or five different point of views and then make a single uh, shader make five snapshots then change the shader make the snapshots again and you will have a, a series of snapshots which are perfectly superimposable this is one idea uh, another idea could be that for example if you have to deal with a model which is quite big and you need to edit that you can make a snapshot of the model before the editing and then you can after editing the model you can put yourself in the point of view of that particular snapshot and you will can change the transparency and see how the model changed uh, after the editing phase another idea that you can take advantage of uh, clearly you have to remember uh, if you want to use the information uh, in a later moment you have to save the project clearly Another idea that, uh, is that in, uh, um, in some uh, operations uh, you could uh, have the possibility to uh, change the, the, the image that is associated to a raster, raster with a external program. So for example, I want to make an annotation on the image using a, 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 um, a Photoshop style software like this one. So here I'm just joking. But if I want to draw moustache to my dear turtle, like this, I can make this on an image. Some of the annotations uh, are uh, easy, more easy to be done on an image also because you can generate the snapshot at whichever resolution that you want. So if I save the image with the same uh, name as the, 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 the one which was chosen for the creation of the snapshot, and I open again MeshLab 
I will have my model but when I switch to the visualization of the raster now I have my, I have my modified snapshot which is already perfectly aligned to the model so for example I can project the moustache on the turtle and having my turtle with moustache okay so uh, if you can generate a snapshot but at the same time you can store the shot information then you can use the, 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 the images that you generated in uh, several ways uh, it's, uh, again it's up to you to find new uses of this feature but I think that it could be uh, extremely important from, for um, different applications so experiment that and uh, if you find new ideas maybe more uh, uh, smarter than the ones that I showed during this tutorial, please let us know. Thank you.